Real quick before the video starts, I want to quickly say this tutorial is meant for people who already have an understanding of SQL and understand how to make a database. Um, I'm just simply teaching you guys how to access the database in Visual Studio and VB.net. Um, so if you guys do not know how to make a SQL server or don't already have one, I would recommend you guys go check out a video online or possibly on my channel down the line. I will show you guys how to do that before you watch this video then come back and I will teach you guys how to actually use the database. Alright, play the video. Hey what's up guys, it's the Ghost Hacker here and I'm back for another Visual Studio tutorial. Now today guys, I am finally starting a mini series like I mentioned in the past. Now a lot of you guys have commented asking about SQL and databases and different projects like login systems and kind of stuff like that to do with databases. So I decided for our first mini series, we will work with um, SQL and link queue or whatever it's called, link queue or link or I don't know. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be using that and we're gonna make a full database application pretty much. I'm gonna teach you guys how to in insert records and how to search for them and a bunch of stuff. We're gonna make login systems, we're gonna make a whole bunch of stuff. So um, I got a form set up here so we can jump right in. All I've got is a label so far. That's the only thing I added to the form and I changed the, uh, the text. That's the only thing I did. We're gonna hop in here now. Of course you guys are gonna need a, a Microsoft SQL server. I have one here set up. As you can see, I have a test database with um, just a basic re record of my name and a password and a message. So what we're going to be doing today is getting our username and I'll show you guys how to connect to the database and everything of course. So uh, we're going to hop in here and what we're going to do is make it so when this form loads, this label will say welcome then our name and it will get it from the database of course. So the way we're going to do that is by first we're going to go over here to our project. We're going to right click on it and we have to add our uh, go to add and then new item so we can add our new database classes. So we're going to click data right there and we're going to click link to SQL. We're going to rename it to I will name it um, YouTube DB the database of that so I guess we will go with that. Okay, now that will open up this window here, and this is pretty much where you drag in your tables so you can access them. So we're going to click right here, Survey Ex Explorer, and we're going to add our survey. Mine's already here, we're going to delete it, and I'll show you how to add it. You're going to add it by going up here and click Connect to Database. And in here, you're going to type in your server name or IP or whatever you got. I have a local server running. Okay, now we are going to type in our, our username and our password. You guys are going to log in however you have your server set up. And we're going to select our database. I set up a YouTube DB. And we're going to click OK. Now in here, if we expand our database and our tables, you will see users info. That was the table I showed you earlier, right here. Now we're going to drag that into here. Click yes. And as you see, we can see that uh, the um, the columns in the database. Now we're going to go to our form again. We're going to double click and go to our load or our form load. And before we can start coding, we need to import our link. So we're going to type import um, not two S's, system dot link. Now we need to declare our database so we can access it. We're going to do dim database as new now whatever you called it over here I called it YouTube uh, DB as new YouTube TV and then data context that should be the only one that comes up pretty much okay now that we have that we could go to our form load and I'm actually gonna quickly change my mind we're not gonna put that up there we're gonna put that under our form load okay now in here we're gonna do dim uh, and then you can do what, whatever you want. I'm going to put um, username. 
and then we're going to do equal from user info that's the name of the column i have in my database and then in database dot uh, users info now right below this it will automatically go to this like line right here you just do order by and now here we can um order by what we want it pretty much so we're gonna type in user info because that's what we declared at the top and then you could do dot and you can see all of the um different columns we have so we're gonna sort by username i guess okay so what this pretty much does right here i'll make it a little bit easier to read it declares username equals from user info so the table in our database and then it just order, orders them by the username. So since we only have one user in our database, what I'm going to do is just label one dot text equals and then username up here like we declared dot first dot username. And we're actually going to do before that we're going to do quotes and we'll put plus. So then we can do welcome. And a username. So now, if we open a program, let it load there for a minute. As you see, it says "Welcome the Ghost Hacker." Now, to prove that that is actually getting it from the database, I will change my name in here. And now we will go back to here. We will stop the program and we will start it again. And there we go. Our name has magically changed. So uh, that's pretty much it. Very basic tutorial. Um, hopefully it wasn't too hard to follow along with. Hopefully I uh, told you guys how to or instructed you correctly, I guess. Um, yeah, it's really not too hard. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with this uh, mini-series. If you guys are excited, please leave me a like. And um, if you guys want to see more, subscribe. Until next time, guys. Hope you guys have a great day. And bye-bye.